Welcome to Monday. I hope your Monday's going well so far and you've got a lot of good things ahead of you. It looks like a beautiful day and I hope it's one that uh, blesses your life. You know, today we are acknowledging one of the more notable characters, especially in America, especially in what we often refer to as the civil rights movement in this country. I was a youngster in those days, didn't pay much attention, really. I knew kind of what was going on, but didn't pay much attention, but probably have noticed more and more. So come on in for a little while, and let's think about this very interesting day. For today, we acknowledge the life of Martin Luther King Jr. and the things that were accomplished in this country. Perhaps you, like me, when you hear his name, reflect on the speech that he gave there at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Probably the most noted of the many speeches and works were what happened on that day. And I think one of the statements that he makes, and probably one of the most outstanding statements that he makes in all of his work, is one that we need to hear today. For it has to do with how we look at how we judge people. For in the midst of that great presentation, he noted that he longed for, looked for the day, when people would not judge one another by the color of their skin. And his great statement was, but by the content of their character. That simple phrase, that we would know people, that we would be people, that we would be recognized. Not so much for the outward appearance, but for, by the response of our hearts within our lives, the content of our character. I've often heard that character is what we are when no one else is looking. We can go further to define it. It's how hard we work, how desirous we are, how, how affirmed we are about things, even though we're not being driven by someone else. It's not for a test. It's not to accomplish a job payment. It's not because it's a contractual requirement, but just simply because we believe it's the right thing to do and to be. The content of our character. I fear that sometimes that we have gotten far from that in all our discussions in politics and racial relations and other things. We've, we've missed that point. And how we need, we need politicians and leaders who are people who are of character, not just a party spirit, not just driven by some social agenda, but by character to address and understand. I know there's no perfect individuals out there. You and I can look at ourselves and recognize that. But that, we, but that we strive to be people of realized and very real character ought to be the amb ambition of us all. If we see ourselves that way, we begin to see others that way as well. That we strive to be beyond our limited circumstances people of character. There's an Old Testament story in Genesis 31 where the man Jacob felt it important to take his family and to go back to his homeland. His father-in-law, an employer, was probably not very positive about that and was part of the reason that Jacob felt the need to go. So, finding an opportunity when his father-in-law was away, he, he and his family gathered their goods and slipped away, taking only what was theirs. 
As they traveled a ways, his father-in-law, Laban, caught up with him. As the two discussed together the events that had transpired, there was obviously a certain amount of animosity that was there. But they came to an agreement. And one of the notable things in their agreement was they set up a small monument, a heap of stones, which was common in agreements like that. And as they set up their heap of stones, they referred to it in certain terms. And it was called Mizpah, which translates into the idea, may the Lord watch between you and me when we are apart from one another. Verse 49 of Genesis 31, Mizpah. In other words, the Lord watched to make sure you're doing the right thing and watch that I'm doing the right thing when we can't look over one another's shoulders. <laughs> There's a certain amount of distrust involved in it. Some have turned it into a beautiful and a romantic thing. Let the Lord, Lord watch carefully over us while we're apart from one another and we can't watch over one another in a loving manner. That makes a nice thought. But I want you to think about the investment and calling on the Lord to watch over us, am I keeping my character in line? So tonight before you go to bed, when you're offering your prayers to God, add this to your prayers. Lord, help me to be a person of character. And let the content of my character be that which is seen in me. Far more than the outward appearance of the color of my skin or the nature of my background and heritage. Help me to be a person of character. Thanks for being with me today. We'll look for more things that we can share about this in the days to come. I appreciate you being here.